Hi, welcome to this Oxinane Brief. I'm Chris Fleck with Oxinane, which is Greek for to increase. And we're just delighted to have our client and guest, uh, Tony Cipetta, founder of Chips. And today we're talking about just more than IT services. I mean, let's face it, there's, there's the break fix model, there's the managed services model, and both of them are, are almost reactive to the core. And yet Tony offers something beyond proactive with the technology success model. And he's here to share it with us today. Been in the market since 2011. Tony Chapetta, take it away. Thanks, Chris. Actually been in business since 2001. Um, so it's uh, a lot of history, a lot of experience that we're building on. You know, I want to take a time and, and kind of draw some lines for um, the people watching this that not all IT service provider is the same. There's a vast degrees in not only the type of service you get, but also the business and results that uh, come about. And, you know, when I'm, when I'm out there talking with business people, you know, really I find they're, they're, they're looking for some core items. They're looking for help with what we can call help desk support. I got to call somebody uh, when I've got a question or a small problem. Uh, they're looking for help with, with hardware, maybe um, something on it's not working. Um, maybe they need help with connectivity to their network. Could be um, something in their office or even out to the internet. Um, but a lot of people also realize they need help with some kind of virus protection. Uh, they have to do something to back up their data. And, and really, um, at, at some level, they may need, all, may need help buying hardware, buying software. And when those emergencies happen, they, they know they need somebody to call because, because they'll happen. They don't know when, uh, but they do, right? And, uh, you know, so while they're looking around the marketplace, the, the first kind of option they find is um, break fix. And this is that historic um, call a technician when you need help. Uh, you're paying for support as you need it. And, uh, you know, hourly, you can have a technician come in to work on a list of stuff. And, you know, this is, this is what was around uh, through the 90s and the 2000s and still is to some degree. Um, and, and, uh, you know, you can, you can write a check when you're done. Maybe you, you can buy a block of time ahead of, uh, the time you need it. So maybe you buy 20, 30, 50 hours, depending on the size of the organization. And they give you a little bit of discount for doing that. And then you have them to, to pull from, uh, but it's really, it's, it's, uh, on demand. Um, hopefully they can get there in a timely fashion, but, uh, it, it's a hundred percent reactive type of a service. And, uh, you know, that didn't really work well for everyone, even in just, you know, you think about data, you know, finding out that your backup hasn't worked um, is not a good time uh, to uh, when you lost data, you know, finding out that you don't, they don't have a way to restore it. So managed services came about um, and, uh, you know, the name managed services really kind of started to become prevalent around 2010. This is uh, something that you could find a, a managed virus protection service, a managed data backup service. Um, software security, maybe even compliance, that type of thing. And what this is doing is it's providing a way for that vendor to uh, not only sell you that software that, that you know you should have, but give them a way of keeping up on it, knowing whether or not your machine's protected, the data is protected, those types of things, and take action um, without having to come to your office. So that's great because, again, you don't want to find out that you're backup system hasn't worked when you need to restore data. So, so that's an improvement for sure. Um, and you may find some providers actually even just throwing some help desk services in there. They might say, hey, we'll give you the first two hours included. Give us a call, we'll answer those questions, we'll, we'll try and resolve some things. Um, but again, they're designed to put out fires. They're expecting fires to happen and uh, reactively they will jump to it. It's not 100% reactive because, you know, again, they're putting some software out there and if, if they're taking care of it, um, you know, they can hopefully avoid some things. When uh, we were at the top of the managed services game, uh, we found that we were probably about, um, I don't know, 60% reactive uh, at best. Uh, I would say uh, a lot of the providers out there are, are still um, 70, 80% um, reactive. 20% they're doing the maintenance, they're doing uh, what they call proactive services, which is great, it's better than zero. You know, really technology um, is continuing to evolve. Now that we're definitely in 2020, um, that's not good enough for a lot of businesses. And that's where this third option that uh, most people haven't heard about, 
is, is really uh, needed in the marketplace. Uh, it's called technology success. And this is a, is a systematic approach. It's, it's not reactive. Uh, it's not meant to uh, only be proactive, but it's a systematic approach designed to align technology to support business growth and goal achievement. So it's not just, you know, hey, buy something and we'll repair it when it breaks or even, uh, you know, change the oil and do the maintenance type of stuff uh, to help avoid a catastrophe. It's, it's taking a look at what are the key items in the business? What are those variables that need to stay on point and making sure that those occur the way they should? So those could be factors because of security. It could be of uh, needed functionality. It could be um, business objectives, that type of thing. So it's, it's a little bit different depending on what industry the organization is in and what, you know, what their business objectives are. Um, but it's, it's, it's truly meant to customize and systematically uh, change that relationship they have with technology to be something that it's not just something they have to pay for, but it's an investment that drives them forward. This is important because as we look at businesses, the bigger costs in business really isn't technology. It's, it's the cost of payroll and it's the cost of HR for, is, is pretty much that number one cost across the board um, that is impacting businesses. And technology success directly uh, addresses that need because, um, you know, who wants to be paying an employee uh, to sit around not doing their job or even worse yet, being on, on the phone or online with an IT provider and being frustrated? A couple comparisons here, managed services and definitely break fix. They're reactive support. Um, you're, it's designed to firefight. It's designed to um, react to what the needs of the, the customer requests coming in. How many tickets are they closing? That type of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, businesses that operate under managed services, um, on average, um, which I've, you know, I've been, you know, this is information coming back from people we talk to, prospects. They're saying they're losing uh, typically 15 to 30% of productivity um, in, the, in this reactive model. Some people tell me it's, it's 50% or more, um, but the typical answer is 15, 20, 30%. Um, and again, their biggest cost to their business is payroll. You know, if you think about that, payroll of just for round numbers, $100,000, if they're only losing 15% productivity, you know, I think I'm doing the math right, but it's $15,000, right? That's month after month, $15,000 out the door um, that they're paying out and not getting return. That's not a good deal. Technology success is, is systematic. And, you know, when you change the way you're, you're doing business, um, it changes the business results. And um, what we're doing for our clients, because we're systematically addressing everything ahead of time, less than 10% of what we do is reactive. That means that 90, 95% of what we're doing engagement is a systematic approach to helping our clients achieve their business goals. Helps them get the, the volume of sales, the profits that they're looking for, which uh, is great for everybody because uh, it allows them to, to grow their businesses, serve their clients at the level they want. And uh, ultimately we become not only a vendor, but really a partner in their organization. And, and again, still addressing the same areas, uh, security, network stability are those core things. Uh, but then, you know, once those are under control and we keep them there, it's really strategy across the board. And you may ask what kind of results, uh, you know, can we find? Well, here's, here's one case study um, that uh, we looked at. Uh, prospect uh, came to us and they, they thought they wanted to replace their servers because they were having so many interruptions all throughout the day, every day, every week, uh, that when they got to the end of the month, they realized they had to spend $30,000 in overtime. That's not just their payroll. That's, that's the overtime on their payroll was 30 grand in one month. And that was a consistent thing. So you can imagine the level of frustration of the employees. They want to do their job. They want to do a great job, but they just can't. Every time they turn around, they're being, you know, slowed down, stopped, having to try and find somebody to get help from. And it's just costing them tons and tons and tons of money. They thought, hey, maybe we'll just replace the server, see what happens. They're pretty old. That should do it, right? Well, we we're able to go in there and without replacing their servers, Again, change how they're, you know, interacting with their technology. Went from reactive firefighting to systematically doing things, closing the gaps, 
and aligning to the best practices, whether that's, again, security best practices, industry best practices from the manufacturers, could be best practices from, um, you know, a compliance standard, all these different things could be from our experience. Hey, we know this works 100% of the time, but all that put together, we can secure the environment, make it stable, and, you know, help them advance forward. And in this case, once things were stable and were working the way that they thought they should, they got that time back. The overtime evaporated. The, their staff found they had more than enough time to do their job they were hired to do, and they were loving it. And in this case, they got 717 man hours back in one month. So what, you know, you think about that, what could your organization do with that kind of extra productivity, 717 man hours across a month? That's a lot. That's a full-time employees, you know, so definitely you can do that. Um, another client uh, of ours uh, in healthcare, when we first started working with them, they're struggling to see their patients in a given week, five days a week, Monday through Friday, something would happen technology wise. They tried to shuffle them around the office, move them to a different, um, different operatory. Uh, but that didn't always work. They'd have to reschedule just a lot of administrative overtime. We came in, we, we stabilized the environment. We got there struggling to see patients in five days. We actually got them to see everybody, all their clients within four days. And then strategically, they said, you know what? We'd really like to be paperless. Can we do that? Found out they already had the software. They just didn't know how to use it. So we showed them how to use it, worked with them to change their process. And from that, they, they eliminated one whole business day. They were able to see all their clients in three business days where prior to working with us, they, they couldn't get it done in five. So again, 40% increased productivity. They actually, with that, they, the owner decided to invest that time and they bought a second practice and were able to operate two locations with their, with their same staff. So, you know, what can that do for your business? So some things to, to look for, some things to listen for, you, you know, definitely um, you're going to hear people that have frustrations with security or, you know, somebody got hacked that they know and they're not too sure, or maybe um, they lost some data and they don't want that to happen again. But, um, you know, really businesses out there too are, are looking for ways to get to the next level. Uh, especially during this strange COVID time that we're in, it, it's getting harder and more difficult to, to work and get things done. Um, you know, they need to have things streamlined as much as possible. We can help make that happen. Um, and, uh, you know, people that are frustrated, never want to work with another managed services provider or reactive support person, you say, hey, here's something different. It's not, it's not reactive. Um, it's strategic. It's systematic. So those would be great conversations for us. Um, a few different industries that we find it's important in, um, medical uh, device technology, manufacturing, private equity, bookkeeping. Um, these are all industries where they have people specialized in their roles and essentially time is money to them. Um, you know, you've got high paid individuals and when they're sitting on the sidelines, not able to do their job, guess what? That, that payroll, um, that they're you know losing 15 20 30 percent of their productivity with it's a lot of money and they're just throwing it out the window when they can't do their job so we're able to uh, get that those dollars and those values back to those organizations uh, let them start serving their clients achieving their goals uh, more quickly and then strategically figure out how how can we take them to the next level and uh, you know really as technology becomes more integral to everything that we do that's, that's where it needs to be. And uh, CHIPS has uh, been doing this, uh, uh, following the systematic business model for, um, we've been committed to it since uh, 2012. So eight years now we've been uh, pushing forward. Um, it's very mature. We actually, um, on average, uh, we run these stats every month, um, but we're right about um, 0.1 hours of reactive time on average per, um, end user that we support per month. So six minutes. They're not always talking to us every month. Maybe it's uh, you know one every, once every other quarter or something like that. Um, but when you can go from having an issue every week, every other week, you know, having to, you know, other co-employees, uh, you know, having issues and they're getting in your way too. Uh, when you can eliminate that whole frustration and go to one or two, one or two support needs a year, 
that makes a huge difference for employee morale, employee productivity. And uh, that's uh, the key differentiator that we bring to the marketplace. Hopefully uh, you see the difference in that. And uh, we'd be happy to talk with those people that are frustrated that want to get uh, something different and actually uh, move to that uh, technology utopia that they've always dreamed of. And um, we're set up and uh, built to, to provide that on a consistent day-to-day -day basis. So thanks for your time. Awesome. We're here with Tony with CHIPS uh, since 2001, talking about uh, technology success provider as a proactive approach to save your organization money, uh, one of many Oxinane clients. If this resonates with you, if you're a, a business owner, a CEO, perhaps you're a chief technology officer concerned about your risk, perhaps you're a chief information officer concerned about risk or an IT professional just wanting to have a safe conversation that perhaps there's something more, give us a call with the contact information on your screen. Our phone 612-695-9176. Our website, oxane.com, spelled A-U-X-A-N-E-I-N.com, or send us an email at info at oxane.com. I'm Chris Fleck with Oxane. Stay tuned for other exciting Oxane uh, mini briefs to inform you about opportunities to better your business.